DC Cinematic, uh, Cinematic Universe slate announcement revealed this uh, anyone care for see what war is supposed to say about this and check this out So in today's video, we're going to talk about James Gunn DCU announcement is coming. Is it though? I don't actually know if it's coming, but if he is a man of his word, he said, some news would be coming in January. Now we only have the 28th, the 29th, 30th and 31st. So it's either probably going to come Monday or Tuesday if mm -hmm. anything is coming at all. Then we're also going to talk about the DC Universe. Will anyone care about the new universe? Now let me explain before you jump down my road. So, yo, what is freaking good YouTube watch you here? If you're new around it, make sure to subscribe to never miss any Marvel DC pop culture based content. We will be breaching out to new sectors, to new genres later on this year. So stay on the channel for new kind of videos. Get me very, very simply subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. And if you could, check us out on Instagram at Washed You. Because I'm currently cut in to get shredded again. We've done the miniature mini bulk, lean bulk, whatever you want to call it. And now it's time to bring the shreds back. So if you want to watch my transformation on the stories, just hit me up on Instagram at Washed You. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, ironically, we're actually going to read some tweets out because some people have some really bad takes on what's actually going on in DC. Like, where have you been sleeping? Have you not been on the internet? Are you blind? Can you not see there's so much hype for the new DC universe? Is there though? I can't see it. So, wish you G on at Twitter. So, for some reason, people seem to think they're going to announce the new slate. Although it's not actually the new slate. I don't understand why people keep saying it's the new slate because I've not actually heard one single official person say that. I've heard James Gunn say the following. We're going to announce a few projects. A few projects mean two. But some people are like hypergly going, oh no, it's going to be three, four, it's going to be five, six. No, it's not. And some people thought it was going to be a 10 year plan. So people seem to think it's going to be on the 31st. Why? Because that is the iconic comic book writer, screenwriter and producer that is very well known, aka Grant Morrison. And seeing as James Gunn is a massive comic book nerd, it would make sense to do it on his birthday and then do mm -hmm. some kind of post towards that. But Grant Morrison hasn't just worked on DC stuff. He's worked on a lot of Marvel stuff. He's, he's known for a bunch of different stuff to do with both Marvel and DC, ironically. So hopefully you guys are satisfied by whatever James Gunn announces in the following days leading up to February. Realistically, it's going to be very hard when he does actually announce something because he has to do it perfectly. Now, the perfect way for the DC Universe Chapter 1 of the Multiverse Saga, and we don't know what they're calling it, but let's say it's chapters, as The Rock, Dwayne Johnson said, Black Adam isn't part of the first Multiversal chapter. So it could be called the DC Phase 1, Chapter 1. And the only way you can come out swinging is the following. Superman standalone movie, Batman standalone movie, Wonder Woman standalone movie, Green Lantern standalone movie, and, and then maybe Cyborg or Hackman or something like that. Because realistically, the Justice League needs to form. Please don't let the live action version have the Teen Titans take over the Justice League. Whatever he's, he's doing, it needs to be formed around the Justice League. And seeing as David Zasloff, the real boss, had a mandate, he gave said mandate to Gunn and was like, yo, these are important. And ironically, James Gunn comes out and says, Superman is a top priority. Batman is a top priority. I, I wonder why, because David Zasloff said that. He literally told you to say that. So that is predominantly what is probably going to happen. James Gunn, he's made a lot of mistakes. Mistake number one is... You don't announce stuff from Marvel to do with DC. What do I mean? Wait until Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 comes out before you come out and say, yeah, I think I'm going to make Chris Pratt the next Green Lantern. Okay, cool, bro. If you're going to say that, wait until Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 comes out first. So guys, drop everything down below. What do you expect him to reveal? Because he's not revealing a 10-year slate because let's be honest, he's been working for the company 
since October. He's been co-head of DC Studios with Pete Saffron, very cool guy, very cool producer. I really like Pete Saffron, and I really like James Gunn as well. I think he's done some cool work. A lot of you people seem to get the wrong idea about me. I've been covering DC stuff on this channel since day one. I'm not one of these hype train, let's jump on talking about this kind of stuff. Sure, I would like to see Zack Snyder's variation completed with part two and part three. Sure, I'd love to see a Ben Affleck with Joe Manganiello's Deathstroke movie. Sure. But whatever James Gunn's doing, we are going to support that. And also, we will go watch Shazam 2. We will go watch The Flash. We will go watch Blue Beetle. We will go watch Aquaman 2, irrespective of the movies not really meaning anything. So, does anyone care for the new DC Universe? It's a genuine question. It is a genuine question. So, I think James Gunn made a big mistake by predominantly officially saying, yo, Henry Cavill's not Superman. Because by saying that, you're like, okay, if Henry Cavill, the face of DC, is no longer part of the company, what the hell is the rest of the company going to be doing? Are you going to recast everyone? So, Shazam 2 trailer came out, and no one covered it on YouTube. And people are like, yeah, but movies don't do well based on if people cover them on YouTube. Okay, I understand that, but I also understand social media has a huge impact on how well movies do or don't do take avatar 2 for one avatar 2 it's everywhere people have been talking about it for such a long time nobody we've actually done a plot leak for shazam 2 which has been confirmed to be real based on the most recent trailer don't get me wrong i've met david assenberg i've met pete saffron yeah shazam was really cool and i'm personally looking really forward to it but my point here is, if no one cares for the four DC movies coming out this year, why are they going to care for what else is coming? All I'm saying is, whoever they're casting for the new Superman, the new Batman, although it could still be Robert Patterson, for the new Green Lantern and for the new Wonder Woman, if she gets replaced, your casting's going to have to be fire. So, Shazam! Fury of the Gods trailer on the YouTube on the official Warner Brothers page. 11 million views two days ago. Okay, so it's all right to be like, yeah, no YouTubers are reacting to it. No one's doing TikToks. Well, realistically, all the movies that do well at least have some form of social media engagement. I've spoke to a bunch of YouTubers and no one freaking cares about Shazam 2. Because of what James Gunn and Pete, well, okay, Pete Saffron didn't say anything. Because James Gunn has made it clear that they're doing whatever the hell they want. Cool, bro. If you're going to do that, you've got to get rid of absolutely everyone. Not only that, they throw Gal Gadot Wonder Woman, who's in the movie. It's not just a careful for spoilers of them ruin life. It's not just a dream sequence. She actually has a pinnacle role in this movie that's pivotal to the plot point of the whole movie. So she won't be cut because if that part is cut, they're going to have to add someone else in because what happens to Shazam is pretty full on. So no, Gal will not be cut at all. So let's go over some of these comments. Oh my God, the DCU's trending. So you seriously spout your own agenda. I'm way more excited for the DC Universe than I was for the Snyderverse. DC hasn't been great since the Dark Knight. Okay, if someone's saying that, nah, yeah, let's move on. Zaslav made a horrible decision, should have let Michael DeLuca and Pam Abdi run DC. Zaslav made a big mistake by not letting all these movies release, then someone coming in and taking over. They should have waited till the end of this year before anyone took over. We would have had Cavill Superman, Man of Steel 2, and probably would have, nah, okay, Zack's not coming back, it's just it ain't happening. And this whole agenda to sell the rights to Netflix. I mean, we covered that on a video, it doesn't even make logical sense, let alone business sense. Not really, to be honest, Henry Cavill, does the cameo in Black Adam? Granted, it didn't do well at the box office, but then effectively getting fired was a board decision. I mean, he didn't really get fired. There was no contract in place. He did both the Flash and Black Adam cameo roles as a freelancer. So some of these are like positive. I'm super pumped for the future of the DCU has never been brighter. Like I say, if this plan gets executed cool, then it is. I could care less about James Gunn's DCEU. Okay, cool. Not really at the moment. No, okay, I would say he's a counter verified, but you can buy it now, so verification means nothing. What are you talking about? That's all I see people talking about. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, we've spoke about Wolfgang becoming the next Superman, sure, but nobody's really talking about it. 
I mean, they're not only about people tweeting, I'm more about actually people talking, talking, about in real life. I haven't heard anyone talking about it in real life. Not on about Twitter sphere. So, from my point of view as a fan and as a content creator, I don't think anyone cares about this plan. It's gonna have to be fire. So, also, on Twitter, my time to shine says something, and although that account does get a bunch of stuff wrong, this uh, take is actually kind of interesting. The DC Universe is the first cinematic shared universe to get rebooted. Kind of funny when you think about it. It's not actually the first cinematic universe to get rebooted. In a comic book genre? Yeah, sure it is, but... It, see what I mean by my time to shine gets a bunch of stuff wrong? It's not even close to the first, like, cinematic universe to be rebooted. In a comic book sense, sure. So, we do have the DCU trended on Twitter. Let's see what people are saying. Zack Snyder had nothing to do with the downfall of Warner Bros. In fact, when he was around, the only time the issue was making money, that is true. The Suicide Squad lost money. Black Adam, eh, kind of lost money, I guess, in a roundabout way. The Batman made money. Rocky Phoenix made money. Wonder Woman 984 lost money. Birds of Prey lost money. Yeah, more movies lost money than made money. I mean, people keep saying that there's so much hype for the DC Universe. But I, I really can't see it. So hopefully, the new Holy Trinity actually gets casted perfectly. Because if you remember, when Batfleck was first announced, everybody hated the idea. And now, everybody wants him back. He's in the flash, for sure, and it's all right. Fan casting, Gamora from The Guardian. And she's also in Avatar 2. She's one of the only actors to appear in three movies that are bang two billion dollars for sure. Bring her over because the movies might bang. Yeah, I think she would be a perfect grail. Dark Side's daughter. That would be, yeah, because she's a very talented actor. That would be pretty good, but I can't see her being casted as grail. Why? Because that would imply they have to do some kind of storyline with the new gods the anti-gods and kind of dark side and all the apocalyptic stuff. I can't see James Gunn going straight in the DMs with that, although that would be cool, get the new Wonder Woman to fight Grail. That would be freaking sick. Make it happen, James Gunn. So, does anyone care for the new DCU? I don't know, but one thing I will say is you guys are going to let me know down below, right? Do you care for the new DCU? And before you all say, yeah, what's you? You're just a Sonata fanboy. I cover just as much Marvel content as DC content, if not more, I covered all. The Arrowverse, The Flash Show, The Arrow Show, also we did Legends of Tomorrow, we did Supergirl, I covered all that stuff, so I'm not really on any side, I'm on the side of make DC great again, I really hope James Gunn can do it. Pete Saffron's a very good producer, he knows what he's talking about. Having spoke to him personally in real life, not on the internet, I can see he's passionate when I spoke to him about Shazam. So I do have faith in them, but I just wish James Gunn would stop saying stuff. Become like Pete Saffron, James. Don't talk to anyone on Twitter. Stop replying to people with five followers because realistically, until you say something. So yeah, I do see the hype, but the hype is about James Gunn. There is more people hashtagging James Gunn than there is DCEU and the DCU combined. So when people tell me there's so much hype for the new universe, I'm not seeing it. And people I know in real life have had enough of DC because like, and then they, they cancel Titans, they cancel Doom Patrol. People are like, yeah, sure, make Wolfgang X Superman. I think that would be absolute fire, and obviously he'd get better at acting and this kind of stuff, so sure, he would grow into the role, but whoever they cast as Superman won't be perfect straight away. You have to kind of grow into your role, for sure. Just like the new heads up, DC Studios will grow into their role. I just think James Gunn is making things ten times worse by keep being snarky with his replies. I do get it, and you guys, you have to remember, on Twitter, I'm trolling most of the time. So when I come out with these things, I'm just joking around, like, like 99% of the time. So please, like, just chill. If you stop pandering to a certain cult for clicks and look beyond them, you'd realize DC isn't quite the car crash you think it is. I never said it is. But when you tell a community of the fandom of DC who have been watching a certain kind of role, certain actors playing certain people for quite a while, and you're like, yeah, we've got four movies this year, it's going to mean absolutely nothing when the movies come out. There's no connective tissue, but sure, go watch it. And then I look at the trailer numbers, 10 million for Shazam 2, 
pretty darn weak when you compare it to something like Ant-Man 3. Oh, but you can't compare Shazam to Ant-Man 3. Why can't you? You can, but you don't want to make that comparison. But Ant-Man 3 is high. Yeah, we get that. We get it. But the thing is, it's a third movie and it's Shazam 2's a second, so you can somewhat make the comparison here. My point is there's no hype for Shazam 2, so is there going to be a hype for the new DC Universe? We don't know. So likewise, guys, this is kind of an opinion piece about the new DC Universe. So likewise, guys, let me know what do you think the new slate or projects that James Gunn's going to announce on behalf of him and Pete Saffron and David Zaslav and James Gunn is probably going to snarkily renounce it on Twitter because that's the only place he likes to talk, apparently. So likewise, guys, check us out on Instagram at Wish Joe. Check us out on Twitter. Hello, it's 2 g and I'll catch you in another video very soon. Catch ya later. This is where I like this video. Great night. See you in the morning.